Uh, Dick Rochford, this is the RNAV 22 at Baton Rouge, 22 right. And we just turned the corner at Couric down to 1,800. Power set to 500 pounds in this Piper Meridian. 172 Mike Alpha. Once we turn the corner, we get the LPV, so we have rain. 1800s capturing on the autopilot. And we're looking for 1800, 130 Altitude. knots at Firno. Do I need to rearm the approach uh, for the glide slope? No, it should arm itself. And I'm, this is the older autopilot, so let's uh, let's give it a minute. But remember, this happened the last time we yeah. did this, and it armed by itself. It makes me a little nervous. But should it not arm, I believe we can tap the altitude button a second time. So seven Delta Bravo, we're going to just tap below this uh, layer. So Furno is Delta the place Bravo. where it should capture. So we're not going to wait too much longer. But we have to have LPV for it to capture. And we have to be... Uh, oh, the glide slope's present. It should have captured. Ah, I know what will happen. When the glide path turns white, when it goes active, it's going to arm. So let's okay. watch that little process. That's as it worked last time. One point six from Fierno. There it goes, but it's glide not. path is active. Let me try to hit this. Stand by one oh, there second. There it went. Okay. Just be, be patient. patient. <laughs> yeah. The glide is armed. Right. So, about so to we do nothing down, down until minute. we get the Let's glide path. Alpha contact, Tower, 18 Eighteen forty-five. So long. Eighteen forty-five. So long. Now, do not be distracted from this intercept. I recommend okay. you wait on the call so that you don't miss the intercept. Because right. if, that, if that happens, go there ahead. Go. Yep. Gear, nacho flaps, power to 300. Oops. There you go. And we're looking for the airspeed to scroll down to 120 knots. Category Bravo aircraft. And within the second nacho flap speed. Okay. Number 172 Mike Alpha, Baton Tower, radio check. Uh, 2 Mike Alpha, we're established, 2 2 right. Number 2 Mike Alpha, only 2 2 right, clear to land, wind calm. 2 2 right, clear to land, 2 Mike Alpha. All right. So, so with the clearance to land, we turn on the landing light, the rest of the flow is done. Which way? Straight ahead. How low? DA, which for us today is 270 MSL. They're calling it 500 over, or broken rather. So we should see uh, the runway plenty soon enough. We're going to do one of two things. Runway in sight, we're going to tap off the autopilot with the red button, add the second notch of flaps to keep our eye on the runway. Barrow's tower to off four, clear of four left, holding short. If we don't see the runway, we're going to tap the toga button. Pitch and power. Clean it, trim it. Run one on 920, the bases. No, sir. Take those flaps out. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Did. What comes first? Autopilot off. Autopilot off. All right, go ahead. Yeah, anytime you're ready. Second notch flaps. Now hold Auto your head still, disconnect. and you'll see the runway stays pretty still. Base is uh, 920, 172 Mike Alpha. Thank you. Uh, just hold it as still as you can, wings level, in the crab, so no rudder yet. They're reporting the wind's calm, so there shouldn't be too much to do. So the trick here is to defend the aim point. Pick a spot, and make sure it's coming right at your eyes. If you hold your head still, it'll be easier to see that. Want slower, add flaps. And now the next and last thing we need to do is cross that aim point at 90 knots, 85 in the flare.
Notice how when you put in flaps, the nose bobs up. So try to manage that with trim. Looking good. A six inches left of the center line, so come back over to the right just a little. Slow your rate of descent now. Do not climb. <laughs> 